video you just watched likely takes place somewhere in Afghanistan, but we don't know that for sure. I'm really only guessing here based on the multicam uniform and the terrain. That said, it really doesn't matter. There's quite a bit about this video that should be pointed out, not least the fact that the deuce made it through a whole can without a single malfunction. The soldier in the turret is told by presumably his TC to go cyclic, which are words to a turret gunner's ears. Come on! Cyclic! Cyclic! This one was covered by Josh on the site, and in Josh's words, there's only three things in the world a machine gunner wants. They want perfect enfilade fire on troops in the open, they want the entire belt to go off without a malfunction, and they want to hear the person controlling their rate of fire to say the sweet, sweet words, go cyclic. As soon as he's given the freedom to lay on the gas pedal, he uses up the rest of his belt, drops in a new can, and unleashes absolute hell in that general direction. This sheer adrenaline leads him to let out his war cry while something on the other side has what some would consider to be a generally bad day. I hope they wore their brown pants. For those that live under rocks, the M2 is a 50 caliber heavy machine gun originally designed toward the end of World War I by John Browning. It's modeled similarly to Browning's 1919, which was chambered in 30 6 Dubbed the Deuce, it's both beloved and hated by those that have been privileged enough to use it. Older models require setting what's known as headspace and timing for your barrels, and if it's not set just right, you're only going to get a few rounds off before malfunctions start happening. You get those set right in the sweet spot and it's off to the races. Now the Deuce went into service just before World War II in 1933 and hasn't stopped being used since. It's got a service list that's longer than a freight train and it hits like one too. Multiple improvements on the design have taken place since then and just because I'm sure we're going to get a comment here or there, there's currently no provision in the Geneva Convention prohibiting its use against enemy personnel for suffering. It doesn't exist as a restriction on any agreement, convention, or treaty. Send it. That's going to be it for this quick history lesson on the Mod Deuce. Download the app to get these ahead of the show. Hit the like, hit the sub, hit the bell, and stay informed. I know, I'm looking! Is it jamming? What's that? Is it jamming? Yes!
Yes! I know it had CLP on it. Yes! I got one! Fucking free gun on this bitch. Hey, what? Shoot it. Where is it? Look, murder hole. Same thing you're shooting at. Lower to the left. Give me a fucking can. still here good why don't you swing by my channel and drop a sub over there as well because last year we did over twenty-seven thousand dollars worth of charity pcs to veterans that need it through my partnership with stackup.org we play escape from tarkov and just about every other shooter you can imagine while talking about all this great combat footage and we have a large contingent of veterans law enforcement officers and other public service community members swing by let's have some fun and kick back i'm out of here